brandy and we're taking a little look at and having a little taste of Mauritius Club Rum. Now Mauritius Club Rum, produced on the island of Mauritius uh, by Frederick Bestel, who also brought to us Gold of Mauritius, um, which I have done a review, so you can take a look at that if you want to. Um, it's bottled at 40% AVB. It's a blend of distillates um, that is then matured for a period of only six to eight months. So it's quite light and fresh, and which is very uh, apparent when you take your first um, nose of this rum. It's very light and fresh. Um, it, they utilise South African red wine casks for um, the maturing process of this rum, along with uh, export casks for finishing. Um, it's these selected casks and this uh, maturing, albeit for a shorter time than some rums, that really does the lend to a distinctive um, aroma and flavour profile, which is quite prominent and unusual as well. Um, the bottle itself is thick, heavy glass bottle, almost reminiscent of an apothecary bottle, which you would expect to find in an old fashioned chemist shop. It's quite, quite a nice bottle. The label is very, very basic indeed. Um, you know, uh, they've decided to go with a very plain label on this bottle. Um, but all in all, I really do like this bottle. Um, the colour of this rum, if I, I poured one out, I'd have left out for a good 10 minutes. Um, quite a lovely light golden colour. I think they do add colour into this rum, if I remember rightly. Um, when you first take a smell of this rum, it really is quite um, a distinctive aroma that comes through. Light frangipan element comes through of almonds and marzipan. It really is, when I say frangipan, because it smells like Bakewell tart, it really is lovely. And when I was at the rum fest, I was going around and I was asking people, any rums that you feel stood out? And they said, have you tried that cherry Bakewell tart, cherry Bakewell rum? And I knew which one they meant straight away because I had been by and tried it. It's very distinctive. It then leads into light apricot and raisins. And then when you leave this in the glass for 10 minutes like I have, you get light, very faint um, tobacco and leathery tobacco elements that come through on the nose as well. It's very, very lovely to smell. Now taste. Smooth and very sweet on entry. You then get that frangipan, the signature aroma that transfers straight through to the first taste on the palate. It really is quite, quite prominent. Along with vanilla, and then you get something which starts to take the lead. And that is Opus Cocktail Cherries. Um, I had an Opus Cocktail Cherry when I made a cocktail the other night, and when I I ate it, this did. I thought, wow, this really it reminded me of this, and that's. I thought I have a glass afterwards, and it really does. It's very quite distinctive. Mm. Then you get it starts to deepen, then, and you get. A little bit of the port or red wine element that comes through and molasses because it's a massive molasses based rum and you get the molasses along with little chocolatey elements that come out and then it really does dry to a lovely oaky smoky fade it's quite delicious very easy drinking. I'd say that is a, this is a really light, easy drinking rum with very prominent and pronounced flavours that um, really do shine through and are quite recognisable. And it's and I think this is really good. It'd be a great rum to let people that are coming into, you know, they want to try a rum and they're getting into sipping rums and you give them one like this, 
there's a lot of flavours there that are very, very detectable, and I like that. And, I, and it'd be a good rum for, for, for somebody that's getting into their their rums and they wanna, you know, they they wanna get a rum which's got a lot of prominent flavours. Um, also, this is I think it's being sort of marketed more as a mixing rum on the website. It seems to be. Um, I'm looking forward to trying some cocktails with this, but all in all, this is certainly very drinkable. One ice cube, sit down, relax. If you want a little bit of a sweeter rum to enjoy, maybe after a meal or or, or after an evening, but very very enjoyable. Uh, my name is Andy. This has been my little look at the Mauritius Club Rum, and until next time, enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.